What are the side effects of speed or uppers? Well, in this video, you'll hear from clinical program director, Danielle DeBoer, as she explains the positive and negative side effects of speed or uppers in general. Hey, it's Clint with Sandstone Care, where we help teens, young adults, and their families overcome challenges that come with substance use, addiction, and mental health conditions. All right, let's get right to it. Any substance, um, if, if someone uses it the first time, if they don't like it, they're going to stop using it. But if they like it, it's like, wow, that was really satisfying. I got a really either a powerful feeling from that or, man, I accomplished a lot. I didn't get sleepy and I was focused and I was, I was really satisfied. And so having that satisfaction from using a substance means there's a pretty high chance of going back and doing again. You know, that's what that's what, how dopamine works. It's a reward, right? So it makes us, hey, let's go back and do that again because that's a good survival thing. So those initial uses, extremely satisfying. Um, and at some point there's a shift in, and we can explain that at some point here too, about what's happening when it goes from just being a really positive thing to actually being an addiction. Because just because someone uses something doesn't mean they're addicted to it. It can just be that they tried something out, they were curious, exposed to something, and were like, I'm, I'm interested, I'm curious, I wanna try that out. And so they try it out, but it doesn't mean they're addicted. They could even use it repeated times and not be addicted. And they could even have some problem effects from it and not be addicted. But the positive things would be accomplishing so many things that there's great satisfaction in how much they cleaned their apartment or how much studying they got done and how focused they were on their school. They could pull an all-nighter and accomplish great things or just not feeling depressed and just moving through the day and just feeling on top of the world or feeling really amped up for a, um, an event that they're going to, a, you know, a concert or a sporting event or something like that. So having that really energized, positive feeling. And also in that not having to kind of think about maybe some of the other things in their life that are not going so well. Uh, they, those, those things that are not satisfying sort of fade away and the brain is just enjoying that amped up positive area. So those are the positive things from it. The negative side effects from it are um, things like a dry mouth and with that dry mouth, um, with repeated meth use, they tend to have dental problems, lack of sleep. So if they're amped up for hours and hours and sometimes days and days, uh, their body is not getting to sleep. And sleep is so important for our brain and our body to rejuvenate, to clean out the kind of trash, to um, consolidate memories, to really learn, to really progress, um, to go into some relaxed, deep thinking, creative areas. So all of that doesn't happen when someone's on meth uh, or any kind of stimulant because they're staying in the amped up place. Also things like their cardiovascular system, their heart rate is in a constant high functioning mode and it tends to wear on it. Just like if you were to have your car in park, but keep it idling at 10,000 RPMs, it's gonna wear out the mechanisms in your vehicle a whole lot faster than if your car is able to idle at a much lower RPM. So in our, in our body, it's similar. If you want to learn more about treatment options for you, your teen, or young adult, then tell us about your situation on a confidential call using the number linked up in the description box below, or live chat with us at sandstonecare.com. We'll connect you with the treatment that you need, and if we're not the right fit, we'll get you where you need to go. Be well and remember that change is possible.